Because in the end, there's only two options, suffer or grow. If you're suffering, you haven't grown yet. And so grow into a new set of beliefs that take you beyond the focus of limitation to what's truly possible. Welcome back to the channel. As we do every week, I'm going to show you a clip I found online of a recognizable figure talking about what it is that they do usually. And I'm going to explain through an expanded understanding of Ohm's law what uh, it is that they're actually observing. People all over the world are slowly getting closer and closer to uh, making this huge breakthrough and we're going to do our part in uh, getting everybody caught up into what they're actually all observing but they just haven't quite put their finger on what it is that they're actually tapping into. This week's clip is going to be Tony Robbins and it's an address that he gave for a commencement at a university during COVID. So let's watch the clip. Most of us in life we, we work so hard for things. We think life's going to be a certain way. But as you're going to discover, life is never a straight line. You know, we're taught that. We think line is just, I'm going to go from here to there. But if you look in nature, you never see a straight line in real nature. If it's a straight line, a human built it. And so it's a process of evolving, of growing, dropping back, growing, dropping back. And, and challenges are what really grow us. Right now, you're an example that's growing and expanding. And you have a chance to have this be the most incredible life. But it won't be a life without challenge. And the challenges we're facing right now give you an opportunity to grow like very few generations. If you watch a great movie, if you read a great book, you know, the size and the power of the hero, how much you become as a hero is defined by how tough an obstacle you face, how difficult is the villain, the opponent. And so sometimes when I've been through the toughest times of my life, one of the questions I've had to ask myself or note to myself is, ah, I finally have a really worthy opponent. This is scaring the hell out of me, or this is challenging me, or this is making me crazy. But I also know in my gut and in my soul that if I can push through this, just like you've done in these years, you've pushed through tough times, I'm sure, many of them. But as you push through those, you become more. And as you become more, something magical happens. You don't just grow. You expand in your spirit and your soul and your capacity and your skill. And all of a sudden, fear becomes less and less a part of you. You're at a stage of life where you get to write the story of your life, and you're going to make tons of mistakes. And if you focus on the mistakes, you'll feel overwhelmed. You'll see what you missed. But if you learn from them all, you'll see every experience of your life has gifts for you. The minute you focus on something, you're going to decide, what does it mean? Is this the end or the beginning? Is this person dissing me? Is this person challenging me? Is this person coaching me? Is this person loving me? See, the meaning you give things instantly produces emotion in you, and your emotions will affect your actions, and your actions will shape your destiny. It's important to learn to find empowering meanings, to train yourself to focus on what you have what, instead of what's missing, what you can do, what you can do this moment, what you can do in the future. Those are just a couple samples. And if you do that, you're going to be in a state where you're going to know what to do or you're going to learn what to do quickly. And if you don't know what to do, trust your gut and take some kind of action. You go, what if it's the wrong action? You'll find out quicker and you can change again. But if you sit on the fence doing nothing, it'll just create frustration or fear anxiety. He's been doing this for a long time now. And the energy that he just has when he presents is just infectious. And... What he's really tapping into here, and he's, he's, he's basically saying it as bluntly as, as you can, it's all energy law. Everything that he just said, there's energy law. I could take an hour just to dissect that one clip. The greater the villain, the greater the hero must become. Perfect. If current is constant and resistance increases, potential difference must increase. If you're not willing to take on that huge villain challenge that uh, you're going to find all through life, then your potential will not expand as a result. It's interesting, he uses the word focus. There are three aspects to Ohm's Law. There's resistance, current, and potential difference. Current is intensity of focused energy. So he's talking a lot about focus, and especially about giving meaning to things. Meaning is motive force. Motive force is another word for potential difference. If the meaning or motive force behind your engagement with the obstacle is a positive one, the understanding that only by overcoming this will I grow, then the engaging of that resistance becomes easier. The challenge isn't any easier, but it becomes easier for you to engage it once you know the gift 
that you're getting once you overcome it. And if the meaning or motive force that you give it is less, like, this is all just crap, I don't want to do this, and then you avoid the resistance, your potential decreases as a result. This is where, as you overcome more and more obstacles, you do become empowered. That's what personal power is. And that was one of his first books that he ever wrote was the Personal Power series. The personal power is your expanded potential difference because potential difference literally is the power source. So if the meaning that you give to the moment is negative, then you're going to avoid the resistance or even in a worst case scenario, you're going to start believing that you are a victim of the resistance when really the resistance serves one purpose and it is for you to overcome. Because the greater the challenge, the greater you are forced to grow as a result. So, two new interesting ways of looking at Ohm's Law of Life here. And the system that we are running it through here is called Ohm's Wheels of Life. So, current also means intensity of focused energy. And potential difference or motive force also means meaning. The meaning you give something will obligate you to act. So in the first phase of Ohm's Law, if resistance is constant and current decreases, potential difference decreases. So that means that the second that you believe something is meaningless, your focus will decrease on it. The second that you realize it is meaningful, your potential difference will obligate you to take action and your focus will start to increase on that. And as he said, your actions determine the outcome. And that's why meaning is so important. Once you start to understand that this is an actual physical law that has rules that you can actually follow as a guide, which we have provided through our website, seniorthinktank.ca, then you can actually start understanding the true meaning behind why the things are happening in your life that are happening. Instead of believing that you're a victim of them, you can find the personal power that will only come through overcoming the challenges yourself. The graphics that you've seen in this video are called Ohm's Wheels of Life. And if you'd like to learn more about that, you can visit our website, seniorthinktank.ca. We look forward to you tuning in next week. If you like this video, be sure to share it and like and subscribe it. And we'll see you next week.